Mm. Ted Leonsis touting the positives, he says, about this move to Virginia, but there are still people who do not support this. Yeah, as a matter of fact, they're gathering today. News 4's Juliana Valencia live at the potential site of the future arena where an opposition group is gathering. As you can see here, they're going to head to Richmond today to speak out about the issues they have with this move. Good morning, Juliana. Hey, good morning, Adam and Jimmy. You know, Ron Moten with Don't Mute DC is here. You see the bus just pulled up behind us where soon they're all going to leave to Richmond. And Ron, tell me, we just heard from Ten Leonsis, and he was saying there that um, the local businesses surrounding the arena are not his constituents. He has to worry about the employees and the players. And what's your take to that? This is the same guy that came to my community in southeast D.C., and told us that he cares so much about us and with all the great things he was going to do for us, like he's telling the people in Alexandria, I've lost all respect. I no longer call him Ted Leonis. I call him Ted Snyder. That's how I feel. Gotcha. And, and paint a picture for us where you're, you're with Don't Meet Mute DC. Um, he's saying still four to five years before they leave, but what's the impact going to be on Chinatown if this happens in Gallery So it's an impact from the south side of D.C. to downtown, but we will be resilient regardless. And what, what's going to happen is you'll have the downtown D.C. where 500 million is going to go regardless, competing against Alexandria. So this is not going to work, and we're going to have a gridlock that goes from Alexandria to downtown D.C. where the guy who took... Uh, crayon box and, and drew a plan to show us how we're going to deal with this traffic. A billionaire took crayons and gave you a plan that cannot work. Just think about it, y'all. This is what you're dealing with. And then real quick before you go, tell me a little bit about what your plans are when you're in Richmond. Later. Well, this is United Front, a united effort where everybody's coming together from this region, the DMV, as Ted would say, right? And saying that not under our watch, not under our tax dollars, and we're united against this. And if they think this is over, they haven't seen anything yet. And, and the legislators have to listen, decide whether they're going to listen to three billionaires or listen to the people. All right, well, Ron Moten with Don't Mute DC, thank you so much. Thank you. And um, you. stay safe out there. Right. Thank you. Motions running high for sure in Alexandria. All right, Juliana Valencia live for us this morning. Thank you so much, Juliana. Meantime, Alexandria and Monumental have been holding weekly discussions about how this move would impact the community. The latest listening session is scheduled for tonight. It's about small business and the economic impact of a new entertainment district at Potomac Yard. Tonight's meeting is going to be virtual, and it starts at 7 p.m. And of course, tune into News 4 later today for more of Mark Seagraves' long and wide-ranging conversation with Ted Leonsis. You can find out what role crime played in his decision and what he says about the D.C. offer that fell through. You can watch it all right here, starting at News 4 at 4.